Well, the goosebumps are starting to build up, mate. We've, as we look out and see Jason Psycho Suddy up against Kadong Yai, and uh, this Thai, one of the tallest I've ever seen in the ring, six foot two. So he's got a height advantage on uh, on the Psycho. He. Uh, yeah, well, and it shows immediately, it's the first thing you notice, is that um, Jason would be around about 5 foot 10, um, you know, giving away a few inches. Um, the Thai opponent, he's 6'2", one of the tallest ties I've seen as well. We saw Jason fight last month on the 11th. He fought a, um, a Russian kickboxer with extremely good punches. But Jason um, stuck stuck to the leg kicks and stopped him in the uh, second round, I believe. Well, of course, the uh, the Russian relied on the, that big weapon, the left hand. Uh, I heard later on that he had actually been in a boxing tournament and his first three opponents, it was a sort of a round robin tournament, uh, first three opponents, he broke their jaws. But um, as you say, Jason fought the smart fight and went for the legs. Of course, the Thais, um, better leg checkers than, than the Russian was. So Jason's going to have a hard job going uh, down there. He's the uh, Lumpini light heavyweight champion. Oh. And he looks like he's settling into stride pretty early. But of course, as we all know, the Psycho is a very, very heady fighter. Oh, he is. And um, for the Thai opponent, to his credit, just to fight in Lumpini Stadium, uh, you have to be at a certain standard, which is very high. And he's the champion off the stadium and uh, it's very competitive there. Well, the uh, the Thai fighting very side on, isn't he? You know, like, uh, and to me, I think Jason's going to take uh, advantage of the back of that thigh. Well, uh, he, he could do, but I think that the Thai guy's defense or leg checking would be um, pretty good. And if you kick the leg, you're okay. But if you kick the shin bone, it uh, really can hurt you. May switch, well, yeah, switching yourself, Paul. Um, just trying some stuff out, find a, a combination to, to get through to the psycho. Um, in the round one, and it went as predicted as from. Uh, Jason Suddy, he said it would be a slow feeling out round and that's the way he fought it. Um, what would he learn about his opponent in round number one? Well, he's got to, he's got to pick up, uh, on the end of that round, uh, the Thai opponent switched to southpaw for a little while, so he's got to, he's got to pick up on that. You know, if he, if, you know, did he have any weapons when he did turn into southpaw? But um, Jason doesn't know anything about um, the, the uh, Thai opponent. The Thai opponent may know a bit about Jason. Um, Jason being a world champion, trained and lived in Thailand for a little while. So, um, well, I know that um, the Thai opponents do know a little bit about um, Jason Suddy. They also knew a little bit about Chopper Chapman that did the many good tonight. But um, they, they had videos of these two fighters. So uh, they have a distinct advantage. As Jason said in the interview, he came back from Thailand expecting a different opponent, a southpaw opponent. He'd been training, he'd been getting down in the weight. Last night they both weighed in at 79 kgs, but as Jason pointed out, Jason had been eating three meals because he, he realised that he did, when he got back from Thailand that he didn't have to fight at a lighter weight. So he was trying to build up. The Thai obviously would have been coming down to get to the flight weight. By tonight, after the Thais had three big meals, there could be um, quite a big weight difference in there. Well, absolutely. Uh, if, if Jason's trying to put weight on and he weighed in at 79, you know, he may be 80, 81, 
the Thai guy, if he's trying to lose weight, came down, dehydrated a wee bit uh, yesterday, weighed in. He could be up 85, 86 kg. Um, and, he, and he does look a bigger opponent, not only taller, he, he, he seems the same sort of uh, thickness as Jason. So um, he, he does look the bigger fighter. Well, I guess we're about to find out for what Jason Psycho Sadi learnt because uh, he said he was going to have one feeling out round, and uh, that's been both boys that started round number two with very, very heavy kicks. The Thai trying to use. use his uh, reach advantage. Oh, good kick from the tie. Jason goes downstairs, works the body. No elbows, of course. Oh! Good combinations. The tie come back with a good right hand of his own. Now you'll notice there that Jason's got a bandage on the back of his leg. Um, I seen it last night. It's not a pretty sight. He burned himself on a motorcycle. Oh. Um, both, both boys connected, but I wasn't quite sure which one made the noise. I don't know, but it had to hurt whoever it was. But just as I was saying about that leg, um, the, it was the first thing. He, he, it's oh, there's some power behind that, psycho. Downstairs, up a beautiful double right hand. Oh, good work, Jason Sunny. They trade blows. Oh, what a what a fight, toe to toe on the rope. Oh, there it goes, the psycho. He's not getting up. It's good night. Bring on the fairies. Jason Psycho Sunny. He goes. He makes it two one for the Kiwis. Fantastic effort. They went toe to toe, Rebel. Well, I'll tell you, when the action picked up and the boys went toe to toe, Jason's the last one standing. He's done it before, he's done it again tonight. Ah, look at this man. As I was gonna, I've got to tell you the rest of the story about this leg. It's so sore he couldn't wear longs last night. He walks into the weigh in and. It's the first things the tie he's seen. He's got a bit of blood coming from the mouth. He caught a few there. They won't be worrying him in the least. The tie's looked at it. He said, it's not sore. He let them poke it. He said, oh, I just about faded with pain. That's the sort of guy that wins fights like this.